हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू प्रेशर इंटेंसिटी इनसाइड अ ड्रॉपलेट सो बबल एंड अ लिक्विड जेट लेट्स बिगिन फ्रेंड्स लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द प्रेशर इंटेंसिटी इनसाइड अ ड्रॉपलेट सपोज फ्रेंड दिस इज अ लिक्विड ड्रॉपलेट दिस this is the circumference of the droplet and inside that droplet there is a press excess pressure developed this is excess pressure from all directions and this is the surface tension on the circumference of this droplet and this is the diameter of this droplet friends always surface tension occurs on the surface that is on the circumference of the droplet here this this is the cross section cut portion of the droplet this is the cut portion of this droplet and surface tension occurs on this surface that is on the circumference of this droplet like this this is the Sur surface tension on the circumference of this droplet to derive the formula for excess pressure that is this excess pressure developed inside a droplet we need a static equilibrium condition for this surface tension force should be equal to the force due to excess pressure surface tension force manje means force due to this surface tension and force due to excess pressure means because of this pressure here friends in this case in in droplet case surface tension force is given by surface tension into circumference and force due to excess pressure is given by excess pressure into normal area it is a formula like this pressure is equal to force upon area like this somewhat friends here in this case surface tension into circumference surface tension is sigma and circumference is given by pi d this is d and pi d and excess pressure is given by p and normal area is given by pi by 4 into d square let's arrange the all the parameters like this here friend d is cancel out and this one d is cancel out this pi cancel pi cancel out pi cancel out so here p is equal to 4 sigma upon d this is the equation for excess pressure developed inside a droplet next friend pressure intensity inside a soap bubble here friends soap bubble this is a cross section of the soap bubble it has inside diameter this one and outside diameter also here friends this is the outside diameter and this is the thickness of the liquid droplet which is given by delta d inside the droplet there is air and outside also droplet there is air because it is a like a hollow sphere in this case also friends pressure inside the droplet sorry pressure inside inside the soap bubble is given as like this p p p excess pressure acts on all the directions like this as in the case of liquid droplet here friends uh, surface tension in this case also acts on the circumference that is here and here in case of soap bubble it is given here this is the cross section and this is a uh, surface tension uh, this 
uh, here friends see the the enlarged diagram this is the enlarged diagram of this section here this is the outer outer cross section and these are the surface tension forces uh, occurred on the outer periphery of the uh, soap bubble and inside periphery of the soap bubble also surface tension occurred which has been indicated by the black arrow here friends in this case also we required static equilibrium condition to derive the excess pressure equation in this case also surface tension force should be equal to the force due to excess pressure and surface tension force is given by surface tension into circumference and force due to excess pressure is given by excess pressure into normal area in this case friends surface tension acts on the outer periphery and also on the inner periphery so we need to calculate outer periphery surface tension force and also inner periphery surface tension force and need to add these two forces so here friends sigma pi d is for outer circumference outer periphery sigma into pi d pi d is the circumference and here in this and secondly for the inner circle inner periphery sigma into pi this is the circumference d my pi sigma pi into bracket d minus delta d here friends we need this diameter so d minus delta d will get inner periphery diameter inner circumference diameter okay then here friend this is excess pressure into normal area that is pi by 4 d into bracket d minus delta d the whole square here friends in this case normal pressure acting on the inside periphery of the soap bubble so d minus delta t gives inside diameter of soap bubble so now friends arrange the all the parameters and we will get this here friends uh, cancel out d 1d from here pi from here pi from here so here friends 4 into 2 8 so 8 sigma upon d is the uh, equation for excess pressure developed inside the soap bubble now friends third is pressure inside a liquid jet suppose friends a liquid jet is in cylindrical condition like this and this is the length of the liquid jet and this is the diameter of the liquid jet here in this case also friends pressure acts from all direction inside the liquid jet like this and surface tension acts on the circumference that is on the outer sur periphery outer surface of the liquid jet here in this case this is the this is the cross section and this is the outer surface l is the length of that surface and pressure acts on this sorry um, surface tension acts on this circumference side in this case also friend to find the excess pressure inside the liquid jet we need same static equilibrium condition as we have seen previously here in this case friend surface tension is given by sigma and circumference is given by 2l and and here excess pressure given by p and normal area is given by dl in this case and uh, arrange the all the parameters uh, and cancel the cancel l l then we will get the p is equal to 2 sigma upon d this is the equation for excess pressure inside a liquid jet thank you friends
for watching this video like share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel thank you